Why, top of the morning to you, lads. Welcome back to another episode of Fan Mail Foods. Let me tell you a little bit like this, okay? So I put out yesterday's episode of Fan Mail Foods, and I didn't even I, I didn't even stay awake to publish it. I just let it upload, and I laid down, and I proceeded to sleep for 16 hours. Just not feeling the hottest, man. I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of in one of those moods, you know. If you know about me, I kind of have I have a habit. Of uh, kind of going up and down, having a little bit of mood swings, and you know it's been a few months since I've had uh, since I've been down, so I feel like I'm just kind of running into one of those, you know, kind of those eh feelings. I don't really have any reason to, uh, so I don't think I don't feel like it's going to be uh, too much of a hindrance. And I got Christmas coming up in just a few days, and you just can't be sad on Christmas. So hopefully, I know I didn't stream or anything yesterday. I just I didn't want to get out of bed. I just didn't even feel like getting out of bed after I uploaded the video yesterday. So hopefully it's not a super long lasting uh thing, but you never know with me. I'm just kind of a kook ball, you know, kind of a goofy, goofy person. Don't always make the most sense, so it's whatever. All right, but today, you know what, since it is the early morning time, I think the only way to start my day off right is with something that's going to give me a little bit of energy, you know, maybe I'll get up and get moving and do something today. So today we have some more foreign beverage and foreign snack. So I really want to tear right into this beverage, honestly, right away. I'm not, I know yesterday I kind of uh, went with the food first and then into the drink, but I just kind of feel like I want to try this today. So we have here 180 milliliters of Freeze Extra. Now, which country is this coming from? It's got some kind of some kind of squiggly line language on here. Uh, it's from Thailand. It is from Thailand. It contains water, sugar, coffee, milk powder, and acidity regulator. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had anything that has acidity regulator inside. Um, manufactured by New Bone Company, thir- 75 Mu 5, Ladkra Bang, King Cow Road, Ratchata Bang, please, Samut Prakan. But it says it's from Thailand. Like I said, I don't know how to read these foreign, uh, these foreign languages, these foreign addresses. I'm wondering if it says to shake well. You would think, you know, a coffee, coffee, milk beverage, you should probably shake it, but there's no, uh, no discernible, uh, no discernible, uh, <laughs> language on here that says to shake well. I'll give it, I'll give it a mile back and forth here. Kinda, kinda sounds like it has kind of a weird consistency. Like it's, it sounds, it kind of has like this thick feeling to it. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Let's crack that baby open, see what it's all about. Hopefully it doesn't fucking explode. Okay, not too bad. All right, Thailand coffee drink. How does it smell? Oh, it's got a, it's got a good good uh, coffee smell to it. It's kind of like uh, really the only I've. God, I used when I was a kid, I used to drink Frappuccinos. I'm not talking about like the real deal, because where I grew up, there was no Starbucks, but they had the Frappuccinos in the glass bottle you get from the store. So that was like that was like the original energy drink I ever had, because it was like you know uh, we wanted to have energy drinks when we were kids, and you know I didn't have a lot of money, so it was like it was already not a very often thing. But they would look at the energy drinks and say, "Oh, that's chemicals," whereas a Frappuccino drink, oh, it's a coffee drink and it tastes good. So hey, here you go, kid, have a Frappuccino drink. It smells kind of like that. I haven't had one in many years now, but I still I still remember that that smell. With like it's uh, it's a little bit smells a little bit darker, but let's go ahead and have a taste here and see. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's uh, it kind of tastes the same too. It's I guess it tastes like uh, coffee with milk and sugar. I when I have regular coffee, I never have any sweetener or anything in it, so. I'm not super familiar, but the taste of this coffee bean, though. Mm. I have never tasted coffee quite like this in my life. And I'm, like, I, I drink coffee with some regularity, but I don't go, I don't really go to like a Starbucks. I don't really go to any kind of fancy coffee place. I know Starbucks doesn't, <laughs> is, is far from that, but you know, I, when I drink coffee, it's some shit that doesn't cost more than a dollar usually, you know. But, 
there's a real fullness to the uh, to the coffee bean here. It just uh, it really expands. It like hits the flavor palette and it has this sort of uh, I guess the best way I describe it is it kind of has like uh, almost like it, it tastes Arabic. I don't know if that's like I don't know if this is Thai Thailand language or Arabic la- or Arabic script on the front here, but like it just tastes like the flavor of it tastes like you're uh, like you're like it's like you're drinking it out in a desert somewhere. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it. It just has this like uh, it hits here. It's like this. Saharan, wide open, uh, sort of arid, you know, dry desert experience when it hits the tongue. It's very strange. It's very good though. I, I would, uh, I would like to, uh, I, I would, could definitely get behind drinking these normally, except I don't have a world foods or anything near me or a global market. All right. Now, today's British treat that I will be accompanying with this coffee drink. I don't even know what the fuck this is. It's called Curly. Whirly. I haven't looked at the ingredients. I don't know what's in it. It's kind of, I think it, the pack, whatever it is, it got, I think it got broken up a little bit in the shipping. You can kind of see it like it's a little bit, it's a little broken on a couple pieces there. I don't know if that's normal. I, I have no idea what this is. It doesn't say it's from Cadbury, so there's probably chocolate involved. But I didn't look it up ahead of time. This is, we're going in totally blind. I have no idea what this is about to be. Obviously, with the Galaxy, you knew that was some milk chocolate. Let's see what this is. I wonder if it's like a, pretzels or something it kind of seems like the, the shape of it like would lend itself to like a pretzel chocolate covered pretzel or something but what do we have here well I'm looking at it oh is that looks like it's some toffee maybe this looks that's what it looks like there from the cross section not, definitely not a pretzel but you can kind of see the shape of one of the curly whirls there it kind of reminds me of like a, one of those Heath bars at least I'm, I'm, I'm gonna assume that's what it is I guess there's only one way to really find out we're going in Ooh. Mm. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> mm. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's extremely chewy. What are the ingredients here? Mm. Yeah, this is like um Oh my goodness, it's so chewy. <laughs> I thought it was going to be hard, like, uh, you know, Heath Bar is like a hard toffee. This is not a hard toffee. This is a very, very chewy caramel. This is like a, wow, this is super chewy. It's like a, hmm. I don't know. The only thing I've had this chewy of American candies are actual caramels. So that's the closest thing I could, uh, Relate it to. I mean, it's just a chocolate covered caramel. But for the, you know, it was, it's not a very, uh, it's not a very thick, you know, it's, it's rather thin when you look at it, you know, it's, uh, so I didn't, ex- didn't expect this level of, uh, oh my goodness. I think I could chew this for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I was not anticipating that. It's sticking to my teeth. Yeah. Well, mm. <laughs> let's let's sip another bit, a little bit of the coffee here. How do they pair together? Well, the coffee is still still quite good, but this uh, this candy though, this curly whirl. Oh my goodness, this is very very chewy. <laughs> this is uh, was not anticipating that that you know that thin. Chocolate, is, you know, that that's that's the kind of chewiness that I would anticipate from a full, you know, uh, like gumball-sized caramel, you know. But I suppose, in the interest of getting the thoughts here, let's. I mean, just look at the uh, when I try and bend it here, you can just kind of see, like, <laughs> you see how it's, you see how it bends. You know, it, is, it holds its shape very well, so it kind of gives you an idea. The chocolate coating is a bit of a disguise on it, I think. <laughs> kind of uh, gives you like this false sense of, of like a crunch that you're going into, but it's very, you know, very, uh, very, it's, it's, I guess it's, uh, yeah, it's just a bit of a disguise. I mean, the chocolate is quite fine, but it's, uh, it's a very, very small amount of chocolate to kind of disguise, I think, just how much caramel you're really about to bite into. <laughs> 
But I know this is probably going to make this another extra like three minutes long for me to chew this, but I'm going in for another bite to get a full, uh, full true decision on how it is. Yeah, see, I just bit that piece I was holding in half right around the sort of fault line that I'd formed by, by bending the candy. And um, I think I would have realized what I was getting into with that first piece had I bit into it instead of having that whole piece that kind of just popped into my mouth. Because when I bit into that one, you know, there was definitely a you really need to bite down to separate, you know, the uh, the two pieces given the the structural integrity of the caramel. Now I've had some chocolate fall on my floor here. Some of the chocolate flakes that uh, popped off as I bent that piece in half. <laughs> you know, I could be I could be washing this down probably a little easier if I drank that coffee drink right now. But uh, I don't really want to. Uh, I, I want to savor that some more. It's quite good. I would say this coffee here. Now I'm not very I'm not very intelligent about coffee, so. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's not that great compared to the whatever coffee, but compared to the, the coffee that I typically drink, I would say this is quite good. Oh my goodness! <laughs> this caramel is uh, a bit of a of a task to consume. But I would say this coffee drink is quite good. It has a, it has a very complex and uh, enjoyable coffee flavor. The milk and sugar, I think, uh, you know, might help it just a little bit. I typically don't take a sweetener with my coffee, but I think that the the raw flavor of that coffee might even be, for me, it wouldn't be too strong. Probably I tend to like a stronger flavor, but I think it does complement the, the flavor of the coffee being pretty well. So I'd say I'd probably give that like an 8 out of 10. Now this uh, curly whirl. Now, um, I like the presentation. But it is, uh, I guess, it kind of depends on how you want to take it because if you like a candy to have more of a bit of a consistency to it, you know, something that you can really chew on and you feel like you're getting your money's worth maybe, then this is absolutely for you. If that's, if that's how we're rating it, I'd say, hey, go ahead. It's, uh, it's, it's got to be at least a seven. But the thing is to me is that uh, the flavor is good. The flavor of the caramel is good. The flavor of the chocolate, at least the very small amount that I've been able to uh, discern since there's not a whole lot on the, the candy, it uh, also seems to be rather good, but I would say uh, it's good, but there's nothing really knock out about it. There's nothing really like, ooh, wow, this is fantastic. So I'd probably give it more like around like a 6 out of 10. You know, it's 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 got some, it's it's good, it's enjoyable. Now me personally, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the fact that the caramel is so thick it seems to love to wrap around my teeth right away. <laughs> but um, otherwise, I mean, the flavor is good. It's got it's got that good sort of uh, buttery caramel flavor. But also, I don't. I wouldn't say that it pairs. If you're ever if you're ever having freeze extra coffee drink and a curly whirl uh, caramel bar together, I wouldn't recommend it because uh, it's it's more of a you know even. When, the whole flavor of the of the curly whirl bar is is definitely lighter, whereas this even with the, the milk and sugar, you know, it definitely has more of a there's definitely a stronger flavor there with the coffee. I pair this with a darker chocolate. All right, well, I know that was a little bit longer than usual, a little bit longer to chew on that caramel, <laughs> a little bit longer to savor the freeze extra coffee. This gets my personal recommendation, by the way, if you ever happen to see it in your local uh, foreign food store or you happen to be in Thailand anytime soon, for, 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 for a good reason, I'm sure. You know, I'm sure you're going there for a very important reason if you are going there. But I won't take up any more of your time. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I do believe I should be streaming later today. I think hopefully I should be feeling up to it. But like I said, I'm kind of in one of those slumps right now. So, but uh, hey... It's easy to it's easy to try some food and some drink anyway. It doesn't doesn't have to rack the brain too much to make one of these videos. <laughs> it's some stuff I was gonna consume anyway, so I might as well give my two cents on it, right? All right, but enough of all that. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, and maybe I'll see you later. Hopefully, I'll be feeling up to it. Otherwise, I'll just catch you next time. Take it easy, guys.